Happy Friday guys and welcome to day 9 of my 31 day challenge that I am running in August. If you guys are new to these videos, make sure to check my links in my description box. I will have my kickoff video to this, the calendar that has all of my daily goals that we are doing each day throughout the month of August and my playlist with all of my different videos in here. If you are new to the challenge and you're like, oh, you're already 9 days in, I don't know if I can do this just feel free to jump right in. Like I said, I do have that calendar uh, that you can find the download link for in my description box. And each day, um, we just have one activity, one task that we are focusing on. There are a couple of repeats throughout the month as well for items that I thought were really important, um, but really you can jump in at any time. The only item that I would suggest you do that we have already done is to write down two goals that you have for yourself, whether it be for the rest of this month, or the rest of this year, you know, whatever it may be, just write down on some goals because uh, I always think writing down our goals and working towards them are really important. And that was a big part of this challenge too, um, keeping ourselves motivated, keeping ourselves positive, and really uh, focusing just a little bit of every day on ourselves, making ourselves um, a better person, a happier person, again, keeping us motivated and moving forward and all of that. So uh, like I said, today is Friday. It is day nine, and I'm really excited for today uh, and what we have on the calendar because I have write down three qualities that you love about yourself and I think that that's really important to do because we have to make sure that we give ourselves credit from time to time. Um, we have to remember all of the good things about ourselves. Um, you know yesterday we were talking about bad habits and deleting one bad habit. Um, you know so I kind of talked about that in my video too but you know, we've kind of focused on that, but also let's focus on what makes us a really good person. What do we like about ourselves? What do we love about ourselves? Um, and I think, again, writing them down just like with the goals is really important because you can go back and you can look at them. And next week is going to get a little bit, I think, even more challenging with the challenge. So I hope that you're looking forward to that. Um, and I think that it's always really important to have these, you know, just a few things written down that you really enjoy about yourself because maybe you're having a bad day one day because I've gone through this so often where you're having a bad day and I truly, because I've, I've done this before and I also did it in July when I did this challenge for myself last month, there are days where I just have to look at those things that I wrote down that I like about myself or that I think are redeeming qualities about myself and Sometimes I have to remind myself that the world is not out to get me, that I'm not uh, destined to fail, if you will, which is actually the name of my first novel that I ever wrote is called Destined to Fail because I felt like that so often in my life and I'm a very sensitive person. I'm very like overly sensitive. I'm a very emotional person uh, but there can be times where someone can make just like an offhand comment to me and I will repeat it in my head. I will repeat it in my head. I will make it bigger than it probably needs to be and I truly will decide in my own mind that I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible friend. I'm a terrible wife. I'm a terrible dog. I mean whatever it may be I just decide that I'm a terrible person and I seriously go back to those um, qualities that I wrote down about myself and was like, okay, you're just having a bad day, not a bad life, like, you know? So uh, I think that this is really important to do, but I'm also gonna be really excited to read your guys' comments because of course this challenge is, you know, about us as individuals and um, I've really been focusing on, you know, trying to say, make this all about you and, you know, how do you take each day and what I have written down in the calendar, how do you focus that into your life? And I'm really excited to read your comments today because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of really different ones in there and you know kind of how we view ourselves and what we view as qualities that we really love about ourselves so I'd love if you guys wanted to leave one two maybe three down in the comment section down below your comments have been amazing I've seen so much support especially on the day where we talked about fitness and elevating our fitness there was so much support within the comment section and within this little challenge community and I just thought that was so cool. I was reading them out loud to my husband and we were both just kind of like, that's awesome that people are just being so motivating and so encouraging to one another. I just, it just, it just made me so happy, so thank you guys for doing that. Uh, so I'm really excited to get your comments for today, but of course, like I said, I've been doing this challenge right along with you, me and my husband have, um, so we are both going to be writing down three qualities about ourselves, but I was thinking about this one as I was filming this on Thursday. I actually just got done finishing this look, which went up earlier today. My regular videos are going up at 9 a.m. If I have a double upload day, the challenge videos are going up at 10 a.m., so I just did a trying new makeup which is where I got this look, so that video is already up. But 
Um, for the qualities that I wrote down for myself, the first one I wrote down is that I love my work ethic. I feel like I have a very strong work ethic. It is one of my top compliments that anyone can give me, whether online, whether with my friends. When I get complimented on my work ethic, that means so much to me because I do put so much into my work not only as a youtuber and you know a beauty blogger but I'm a published author I work so hard on my novels uh, I have my cover reveal and synopsis reveal coming up for my eighth novel which I'm so excited about but I pour so much into my work and um, I love working I love my jobs but I've also worked really, really hard to get to this point. I've mentioned before of how many jobs I used to work at one time just to try to be able to afford to buy books to go to college, to afford the gas to go back and forth to all of my different jobs and that sort of thing. And even when I was doing jobs that weren't my passion and weren't, you know, my focus, <laughs> my end goal, I still worked really hard at them. I still have always had a very strong work ethic. You know, I wasn't someone that was always calling in or, you know, skipping work to, you know, go out and party in college and all these different things. Um, I, I took all of my different jobs very seriously and uh, I, I just, I love my work ethic about myself. I think it's one of my strongest qualities for sure. The quality that I wrote down that I love about myself is my loyalty. I'm a very, very loyal person once once you kind of come into my circle, I am very loyal to you. Uh, I think that I'm a pretty good friend and I, I like to have smaller friendship groups if that makes sense. Uh, I'm very much about the quality versus the quantity. I wasn't always that way. I used to think it was better if it was like, look at all of my friends, like look at this photo of me and my 20 friends just having a blast. I much prefer having that photo of me and three friends, me and four friends and having really strong um, connections with them. But again, like I said, like once once we kind of form that, I am a very loyal friend. Uh, I try to treat my friends with as much respect as I can, um, and that's gonna kind of also come up into my next point too. Uh, but also, one thing that I do, this might sound super strange, but I seriously have a notebook where I keep different notes about my friends, and not in a creepy way, but like, for example, I have a friend right now that is interviewing for new jobs. And when I when she says, oh, I have an interview on this day, I write it down in my notebook and I'm like, make sure to text, ask how interview went on this day, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, if I have a friend, um, you know, who has just whatever else that might be coming up, I will make notes of that so I can either text them, congratulate them, just check in with them, see how they're doing. Uh, and I do that because I know I can't always remember everything. Um, it's just... I just can't remember everything, that's just how my brain works. And it was something that I learned actually back when I used to manage a massage clinic. I was the manager there, I would try to talk to the clients um, as often as I could because it was like the membership based massage clinic so we had a lot of repeat clients. I would put, you know, little notes in their file. Like a client came in and was like, oh I'm going on a cruise with my wife next week. So the next time he came in, you know, I saw he had an appointment, I looked at his notes and he comes in I'm like, how was the cruise? And he's like, how do you remember that? And it's like, well put it in your notes. <laughs> but you know, it makes people feel good about themselves. So um, I try to do that or if I see somewhere that maybe a friend is having a bad day, like maybe if they post it, you know, a certain status or a Snapchat that was like eating ice cream so I've had a bad day, you know, I'll say something to them like, hope your day is okay. I'll make a note of it. The next day I'll send them a text message or something say, hope you have a better day today. Um, I just try to do little things like that because I know when people do that for me, it makes me feel really nice. It makes me feel like people are thinking about me. And that's what I try to do for my friends, um, for my family members, you know, my husband, things like that. Um, but I feel like I'm, I'm very loyal to my friends and I, I really would do anything for them. And that's gone back from, from way, way back. I can remember instances in high school of me standing up for friends uh, and things like that. And all through college, I always have, I just, I just want to be a loyal person and it, it makes me happy to know that I have that quality about myself. And then kind of leading into the third quality that I wanted to say, I wrote down my compassion and also that I really do feel like I live by the golden rule. So uh, I do think that I'm a very compassionate person and you know you might have already been able to see that with what I was talking about with point number two, just you know trying to check in on people, trying to let people know that I 
you know, I'm thinking about them and, and all those other things, but I live by the golden rule, which is treat others how you want to be treated. I feel like I really try to practice that also because like I said, when friends, you know, text me or message me or, you know, things like that, I know that it makes me feel nice, so I want to do the same for them. So I'm very big on that. Uh, I've even talked about it when it relates to YouTube. When, what video was it? Um, the perfect subscriber tag, which I believe that one was started by Katie Marie. Um, one of the questions was like, do you uh, like leave comments on videos and, and things like that? And I was like, I always thumbs up everybody's video that I watch. I, I give everybody a thumbs up. I leave, I try to leave a comment on absolutely everybody. Sometimes when I watch like the really, really big YouTubers and I even send that video that I tried not to get into the habit of doing this because it doesn't matter about numbers, like it still counts, comments still counts, even though I know it's harder for them to like see them. Um, but I try to comment on everybody's video that I'm watching because I want people to do that for me. I know that's engaging. I watch the ads because I know I want people to watch the ads for me because that's how I'm making an income. I'm, I'm putting out free content every single day on YouTube. So if someone can watch a five second ad, that helps me make money so I can continue to put out free content every single day like that's fantastic so I watch all the ads I give thumbs up I comment um, you know I try to like retweet and repost on my Instagram stories on my Twitter like I try to share videos if people are tagging me you know I'm trying to share about people um, I'm really big of like you know shouting out other people too and so every single month in my makeup monthly i feature another creator than there i have a creator spotlight i put them in my newsletter like really do try to live by the golden rule of treating others how i want to be treated doing things that i think are right or that i want to see um you know it's like it's it's crazy to me to be like i wish you know bigger youtubers would be more you know more willing to like shout out smaller channels or work with smaller channels but then i'm not going to how is that right like how that that wouldn't make any sense to me so you know i do collaborations i do the shout outs like i repost i retweet i i try to do the best that i can i'm only one person and i like I, I do try to do the best that I can and I also try to remember that everyone's trying to do the best that they can um, but it's just crazy for me to say like I want people to do this but then I'm not gonna do that same way with liking and commenting I would feel really weird if I'm telling people in all my videos I hope you'll you know like and comment and let me know what you think and then I'm not gonna do that for anybody else like that just seems odd to me so that's one thing that I really try to to live by as well is treating others how I want to be treated and that goes from work that goes to my personal relationships and all of that and it's a quality that I do like about myself after that those are the three qualities that I wrote down for myself today um, three qualities that I really love about myself and you know what sometimes like I said I truly believe that we're all doing the best that we can uh, another quality that I wrote down is um, that like I love my positive attitude I love that I can still see the world with positive with a positive view even though just me personally I've been through so much in life I've seen people do really horrible things I've had really horrible things done to me by people but somehow I still have a really positive view of the world and I hope that never changes I hope that I continue having that that vision because um, I, I just enjoy my positivity about myself but I thought that I wouldn't include it in my three that I was mentioning because that's kind of what this whole challenge is about so it's probably like given in there but that's another thing I wrote about myself too and it's something that I enjoy and I think that it's good to to give ourselves some props from time to time to you know I feel like in our world today we're so hard on ourselves and we compare ourselves and we feel like we have to be this perfect person and I choose to believe that we're all just doing the best that we can I'm doing the best that I can you're doing the best that you can like we're just doing the best that we can. So um, I think that it's important to remind ourselves that we have redeeming qualities, that we have great qualities about ourselves. And so I'd love to read in the comments uh, a quality, two qualities, three qualities that you love about yourself. And I'm excited to uh, to read and, and see today's comments. Uh, I hope that you guys have been enjoying the challenge. I am going to be doing a YouTube live tomorrow on Saturday, which I'm really excited about. So if you want to come by for a live, the very first part will be the um, challenge, the goal of the day and then I did ask for some topic uh, prompts discussions that people would want to see on my community tab as well so I'm just gonna be doing a little YouTube live tomorrow which is where you will find the challenge update too so I hope that you will join me for that but other than that that is going to do it day nine write down three qualities that you love about yourself I'm excited to read your qualities that you love and I will see you tomorrow for the YouTube live bye